Okay, so on this episode, I've got our uh, the first guest that we're having on the podcast, and this is a, a podcast I think will be number 13. Um, Paul, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think it'll be 13. And this, this person ties into a little bit about what we're talking about, why I wanted her to be on here um, um, through a, a, a backpacking trip I went on. Uh, maybe two weeks ago now, uh, in Big Bear Lake, California, and through a group called Highlander Adventure, Highlander Adventure USA or US. And um, it was kind of a test for me to go through this, but but as I got to know Meg, which uh, I'm going to bring on here in a second, um, at which we actually met on trail uh, while we were out there. And, um, and then we've talked a little bit uh, since then, but um, you know, again, this was a test for me and, and for my, the fo our followers, uh, our, my community, because, uh, everybody's always wanting to hike with me and, and, and needing a place to do that and a, a, and a venue to do that, especially for all the liability issues and all the things that could come up around that. Uh, this was just something that was, I was just wanted to work out. I mean, it was one of those things that you think when you do something or start something, you just want it to be really amazing. And, and and a lot of times there's a big letdown. Actually, this was just completely the opposite. It was not only amazing for me, it was it was it was just incredible. It was more than I thought. These everybody's so nice and the community and, and what they're what what Highlander is about. And it just aligns a lot with uh, with my community. And so again. I'm going to bring on Meg here, but let me let me give you a little information about Meg. And again, we met on we actually met on trail. She's uh, done Highlander uh, last year before me. I'm not sure if it's just one or two or how many, but um, with her. But she's a social influencer now, and 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 she's got a, a great page. It's called Moving Mountains Meg. It's Instagram. I'm not sure what other platform she has. She can tell us about that. But, you know, she talks about movement plus mindset in the outdoors. And she's got her own little motto or, or, or thing she likes to uh, put out there is live life out. And um, so, again, there's a lot of alignment with, with my community and what we do. So, um, but also just to mention, she was a teacher and she's, and, you know, a lot of what she does is she's an adventure coach now. So I'm going to, hey, Meg, how are you? Hello. So yeah. great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, if you could if, expand a little bit on maybe what I said, talk a little bit you know, about your history and, you know, what led you into what you're doing right now? Yeah. So I um, grew up in a very small town in Nebraska and six years ago moved here to Washington State. And um, I was always an outdoorsy girl growing up. Um, my family, like we lived on my grand my grandpa's farmland. And so we we're always outdoors. We would ski in Colorado. Like the outdoors is, is my favorite place to be. But um, growing up, I was a college volleyball player. And so really a lot of my, you know, first 20 years of life was spent doing sports. And so then after I moved here to Washington, um, you know, it's a whole different world over here um, as opposed to the Midwest. And so during my teaching years, I taught first grade for five years. Um, I was using the outdoors to, to get connected with myself. Um, I found out early on about like year two and a half into teaching that like, this was not something I wanted to do long, you know, for the next 60 years and every day after school or the weekends, um, I just found myself wanting to be outside, whether that was skiing, snowshoeing, hiking, um, I hadn't even, you know, known really about backpacking until 2020. And so we can talk a little bit more about that later, but, um, I know Scott is, you know, talks a lot about healing in the outdoors and that, you know, his story resonated with me a lot when, when I met him, well, I actually, let me backtrack was a long, have been a long term fan of yours, um, on social media. I would use your sounds for reels. I would take your inspo, your friendly reminders and, you know, share those with my community. And, um, so then seeing him on the trails, he, and he's exactly right. Literally we, my friend Brooke and I, we were stopping having coffee at Highlander 
And I was like, oh my gosh, that is Scott, like from You Can Outdoors. And it was like a fangirl moment and then connected with him. And he was just so down to earth and like shared how he's kind of an introvert. So this was uncomfortable for him. And I'm like, I feel you, but you know, you are touching and share, uh, inspiring so many people with what you're doing. And so that was just a really cool moment. And then so cool to be here. So anyway, um, as I was teaching, just was really you know, needing to get in tune with myself and what I wanted for my future. And that was always and still always is in the outdoors. And so, um, yeah, I, um, do you want me to expand more on like my mission, my social, or do you have any questions from there? No, I, I think, I mean, that's a lot of great information. And I think that's, uh, what, you know, I think we're both trying to do. And in fact, you mentioned that to me. And I think when we talked a couple of days ago is that, you know, is the promotion of the outdoors and, and, and what it does and, and, and what you do. And the reason I social is such an, an important thing, it's, it's very transparent. And in fact, Paul and I were talking a little bit about this and how you can you can look at somebody's page and you can see their engagement, you know, and you can tell if, you know, it's actually real engagement or they're actually, you know, there, there, there are spurning, you know, people to comment and make things. And you, your page does that. I mean, it's very, very revealing in, in that sense. And um, that's what's important to me. And I, I promote too is, is leading by example and, and, and doing, doing what your, your promotion is or what you're trying to uh, put out to people um, is, is, you know, this just doesn't work for very long. You have to mm -hmm. to get into the mood. You have to show, and yeah. um, you're doing that. And and I really, that's something that I really appreciate because I know the work and time and things that go involved with with that. And it and and you're and it's just not a, a, a this huge payoff or something that's happening. So it's there. It is a passionate thing. It is it is something that that you're you're doing. So, I mean, I think that's very transparent. You can see that. Um, you can tell me a little bit about, you know, a little bit, just tell us a little bit about your coaching and kind of that. I mean, you know, maybe start off with the, the live life out and, and mm -hmm. I kind of tied that into, you know, the adventure coach stuff. And, but, you know, what exactly uh, do you do? So people know if they get involved with you, what, what to expect? Yeah. So, the live life out kind of stems from my teaching days. Um, I would not have changed it for the world because it truly has made me who I am now and helped me, you know, realize that there was more to life. Um, my family's all in Nebraska. And so, um, I was just, you know, like I said, year two and a half into teaching, I was like, I want to one adventure more. I I'm in this new place. I want to see the world. Um, two, I want to see my family more. I love living in Washington and, you know, being here, my boyfriend's from here. That's why we moved here. Um, but I just, I want to see them more. And with teaching, I'm just not able to do that. And so I, like I mentioned prior, I was a college athlete. So like wellness has always been in, you know, within me, my dad was my coach growing up. And so that was always huge. Um, but after college, you know, then starting teaching, it was like, that's all I was doing. I wasn't investing time into myself with movement mindset or anything. And that put me in a place that I was, had never really been mentally and physically. And, um, when I moved here, I went on an eight mile hike with my boyfriend's dad and he's a huge backpacker and hiker. And I, um, I literally could not walk after the hike, like for the next week, because in college I had knee surgery, they took out my meniscus and like just had, I did not rehab well, you know, and I couldn't, I couldn't even walk for a week. And that was alarming to me. Like I, as a kid did all these things. And then I just like put myself on the back burner for five years or, you know, at that point, three years. Um, and that wasn't okay. And so I was like, I got to make a change. I got to start moving again. I got to, you know, lift all these things if I want to be able to adventure and hike and explore. And so, um, I started looking online for virtual workouts because during the time I was teaching and getting my master's online and I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a lot of time, but I, I was going to make time for myself. So found um, a platform in which I could work out from home. And it also had a community of rad women that 
like to do what I like to do. I knew no one moving to Washington. And so I was like, I want community. I want workouts. I want to put myself in this room with other people that are like-minded. So started going all in on my journey. Um, I was about 20 pounds lighter then. And, um, since then my, my goal has been to just gain strength. Um, and I got in tune with, you know, the nutrition that I was needing, I was under eating, you know, drastically. And so I really started to focus on myself and that that's where then the mindset piece came in. Because like you said, like it does, there's so much time put into this and having a social media presence and being there for other people that like, you know, you're not getting paid for a long time. And so I was consistent and, um, two and a half years into doing that and helping, um, other people do the same. Let me backtrack two weeks into it. I was already feeling better. I was a better teacher, better girlfriend, better, just happier person in general, because I was reading PD. I was listening to podcasts. I was moving, I was hydrating. I was, you know, eating whole foods. And so I started hosting accountability groups, helping other people do the same. And then about two and a half years in, I was like, okay, this is going to be my full, like, this is what I want to pursue. This is also allowing me to get outdoors more because other people are outdoors and they are sharing with me these, these cool new spots in Washington that I've never heard of and, you know, inspiring me to get outside. Um, and so, yeah, that's a little bit about my work. Um, how I then, you know, started backpacking and hiking and getting in, more into the adventure coaching, uh, 2020, I, um, so like I had said, my boyfriend's dad is a huge backpacker. He has gone for the last 40 some years since he was 18 and they've gone on a trip with his like high school friends. And I've always been intrigued have asked questions and 2020, he invited me to come and then COVID happened. Everything shut down. So we started um, training at like the golf course. We would put on our weighted packs and, you know, at each hole we would do 10 push ups, 20 squats, you know, whatever. It was really cool. And then, um, he ended up telling me, I, like I said, I literally knew not a lot. We're going to go, we got, um, a lottery to Mount Whitney. And I was like, nice, cool. Where's that? California. Okay. Like still had no idea. Then, you know, as it got closer, I got a little bit nervous. Like, am I ready physically, mentally? And, um, so I was doing a lot of mental, you know, work and just, you know, visualizing myself there, um, succeeding. And this was going to be a four day backpacking trip. It gets like a week out. And he shares with me that this is the highest mountain in the continental U S and I'm just like my first backpacking trip. And this is where we're going. Okay. Like I'm here for it. Let's do it. Well, it was great. It was a success. After that, I was like, I'm sold. I want to do more. I want to do like five backpacking trips a year. I want to share about this. I took people along my journey of me training of me, like, you know, packing my food, um, you know, what's in my first aid kit, my clothes, all of that. And then, you know, when we were done shared like, okay, what worked well, what did I not need all of that? And kind of then started bringing in those people because mind you, you know, the first two and a half years of me showing my, my business online, I, I was still drawing in teachers and people that were unhappy in their teaching. And at this point I had already left teaching and like teachers are needed teachers. I love all you teachers and like pe they needed my support at that time. But like, I was, I was not wanting to help talk you into fine living life out. I wasn't, I was kind of past that. Like uh, you need to borrow, you know, my belief, you need to be consistent. You need to go all in on something. If you're unhappy, that's what I did. You know, I'm not going to dig you out of this hole that you've created or that you are in, you know what I mean? And so that was like a turning point for my social media following in which was bringing me so much joy. And I was getting so many questions about, are you hosting any trips? Are you, you know, whatever. And it wasn't until, um, really this year, 2023, I have um, my first group camping trip in Colorado. And so moving forward, um, you know, I've done Highlander and that, that is something that I've shared about and, you know, have wanted people to come to, I'm not necessarily leading it, but it's like, this is an opportunity for you to meet, you know, like-minded women or men and, um, get yourself there, put yourself in that, that same room with these people, you know? Um, but this year is the first year that I'm hosting an actual trip. And then next year, um, my best friend Haley and I are planning to do the same multi for multiple trips. 
That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I think that that just leads into everything that um, is important about the outdoors and, uh, you know, community and like-minded people. But again, uh, there needs to be people like you doing what you're doing to bring these people together. And the reason you're able to do that is because, again, you're, you are living it. You are mm -hmm. showing it. You are uh, promoting the benefits of it, and and that's that's very important. I am not um, uh, I, I'm not a great teacher uh, whatsoever. I don't have those kind of skills. Um, and and where I am at my stage in my life, there's you know it, it, what's important is what I'm going to develop. I'm really focused on that, and at the time, and maybe that becomes important later on, but. I am so much about, look, this is what I do. Here's how I do it, how it works for me. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, you know, if it's something you get from it and, and that's, that's amazing. But I, I just, I just subscribe to that. And that's what, what draws me to, to people like you and, and that, that are, that are actually, again, showing it and then that have the ability to develop programs and, develop you know a, a camping trip and 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 create the the uh, the activities around it that promote everything you're talking about mm -hmm. those are those are amazing uh, amazing skills and you're definitely you know we need those kind of people but so that but that also leads into Highlander a little bit you you did talk about that a little bit and 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 one of the things for me and I do want to understand maybe just a little bit deeper uh, overall maybe for everybody to hear what your your experience was overall with with them as as a company and all that i can tell you this part of my and i think i talked about this i'm not sure how much i, I revealed it to you but you know a big part uh, part of what i've been doing has been uh solo for years you know i've been it's just been my work and my personal stuff and that whole self-care savage mentality and and what I needed to do for me again I needed to go hard and and fast and 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 just uh, and and that's what led me to living the way I live now and immersing myself in it it's what keeps me uh, 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 clean and healthy and and uh, and moving forward in a positive way so I can be better for myself, which again, my own plugs, better for myself, which makes me better for everybody else. But the, that other piece of Highlander and, and what I had talked about last year and earlier this year was 2023 was a big, was going to be a big, uncomfortable um, year for me because I was going to put myself and insert myself back in more social environments. And and one of the things that actually spurned that was about um, uh, this research study that was done is still in progress, but it's been done for the last 80 years. And it's been about what actually makes people happy. And this and I can't remember exactly. Uh, they talked about it. I revisited the information, but they talked about it wasn't even originally set up to be about that. It was more set up to be about what, you know, why people choose to do things that benefit them and things like that. But the study ended up turning into, you know, what actually is making people happy. And it is having solid um, social connections. And um, <laughs> that kind of woke me up a little bit too. And, 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 and moving forward, cause I really, I really do believe in that. And Highlander kind of opened that up for me a little bit. Um, again, very, uh, very uncomfortable. Like you talked about, you know, telling you being very introverted and just, you know, people, you know, uh, haven't been my, my, my focus. And so now it is, and that was such a great experience. And I so appreciated that, but, but so for me, it, it brought me a place where I could, again, bring my community to <clears throat> offer that to them where they could have access to me, um, and uh, which is and also, like you said, bring people to to what's a like minded community and people going through this this process together. But um, 
So just, I know, again, you talked a little bit about it, but maybe just, just kind of uh, touch on it a little bit more on it exactly the Highlander experience, maybe for you, because I'm sure when you first went on it, it wasn't just you were sold on it yet, or you were, you know, it was something you were also checking out and all that too. So maybe just lead into that a little bit. So, yeah. So actually I want to refer to a quote that you had said, I think it was a friendly reminder that I saw last year. And it was, once you realize that you can do it alone, you become a very powerful person. Yeah. And I love that so much because um, really that was my focus. Like me being independent and confident in what I can do on my own. Solo hiking, backpacking, you know, all that, which then led to, okay, now let's get uncomfortable and do this group, you know, experience, which is Highlander. Um, so Highlander had reached out to me about sharing about it. They had seen, you know, my page or whatever. And I was very unsure because one, I was like, is this real? Like they're from Croatia. They're coming, you know, is this real? And then we hopped on a Zoom, Haley and I did, and um, talked to them. And like right away, I was like, okay, I'm so sold. They are so polite. They are so welcoming. They They want the best for us, just like we want the best for them. But then still going, you know, and getting there, going to California, um, meet at, you know, the ski resort. I was just like still unsure of what this is going to look like. I'm also huge into, you know, one of the reasons I love backpacking and hiking is to just be with nature and, you know, maybe three or four other people that you're close with and that you're comfortable with. And you know that they're going to make it up the mountain and, you know, being able to have that time lost in nature, you know, at camp, just reminiscing and like all the things. So having a huge group of maybe a hundred some people that I was like also unsure about, is this going to be, you know, not that, you know, calm, soothing place that I, you know, usually am used to. Day one, everyone was welcoming. Like I said, so this is last year, Highlander, the first in the US. And instantly started, you know, connecting with other people that are either, you know, veteran hikers or new hikers. It varied. And I was like, this is so cool. There are people here that want to help me, like teach me things because I'm only a few years into backpacking and such. And, you know, if I hadn't had um, my boyfriend's dad, Jim, to teach me what I've already learned, like this is the perfect place for people to come. Um, you know, them sending out videos on like how to pack your pack or here are some things you can should have for snacks, like giving all that info. That's so cool. And so instantly was obsessed. The views were great. Stopping at random spots along the trail. Like in my mind, I was like, we're all going to be in like in a line. This is going to be, I'm going to be, you know, knocking somebody's heels. That was not the case. Everyone goes at a different pace, stopping at different, you know, spots, checkpoints or whatever, and then setting down our packs, having a snack, sharing with others, you know, things we've learned so far was huge. I think, um, and just so cool too, you know, I think also then day two, I think last year I started getting really bad blisters and there were these two guys that were, um, like a PT and I, um, they did Spartan races and stuff. They had this huge med kit asked me, you know, Hey, sit on this rock. We'll, you know, get you going. And so you can finish this race. Like you're finishing, you know, cause not ever at any point have I ever thought like, I'm not gonna be able to finish any hike or anything. But at that point I'm like, I'm bleeding. I don't, this is not okay. They helped. And then every day following, they came in, checked on me in the mornings, they wrapped my feet, you know, I'm still new to like blisters. So what am I supposed to do? I didn't have the right stuff. And so it was just like, awesome. The camaraderie with everyone that first year, there were a lot of people that did the 65 that maybe like were not physically or mentally ready for that, but they finished and each, it was maybe 10 PM, but each night, you know, everyone is up from their tents. They're cheering, they're ringing the bell. People are crying because like the 60 year old is finishing and he, you know, called the chopper day one or whatever, and he's, he's getting it done. So it was really cool. And Afterwards, you know, we had finished 65 plus miles. We all, you know, had some burgers, pizza, a few drinks, and like celebrated people coming in, got people's numbers. And then, like, for year two, connecting with them, like, hey, which one are you going to? Because now they offer four in the US. Um, 
So it was just really cool. Like I had a few of the people that we had hiked with um, text me on Christmas, like Merry Christmas, Meg, you know, and that to me, I was just like, wow, like I, you know, got to walk alongside this 65 year old woman who is a rad ass hiker in Colorado, share her wisdom with me and things she's learned. And now she has me sold on this, you know, lightweight tent. And it was just a really cool experience. And, um, I'm so happy I did it. And so happy I went back for year two, got connected with you. And now I'm stoked to, you know, go to Montana and hopefully get some other people to join us there. Yeah, that's great. I mean, a lot of the same ex, uh, experiences and the things that you explained. I, I even told a couple of people, I think it was day three and four, and when we did take take a break or something, I was talking and I was I was like, you know, uh, well, first of all, they were just, everybody's, they are so nice. That, you know, Highlander people, their whole, so th- that just sets the tone. You know, it's just like walking into a, a store. The first contact you have with somebody, mm-hmm is going to tell you the leadership, you know, yep. that, 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 that sets it, you know, and, um, and it was just amazing. And <laughs> what I was telling people, I said, I said, something's going on here. I said, you know, I think at the last day we're going to be drinking some Kool-Aid or something and we're going to be initiated into a cult or something. Cause I was like, this is, <laughs> this is just not real. <laughs> so, um, but it is, it's, uh, it, it is, and and I think it's because of what they do and the people they do bring in and and um, you know look it, nothing's perfect look you know you mm-hmm. put a hundred people together you're going to have that percentage just like in any part of society that that's you know not 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 that that way and and but just like with my platform your platform things like that you you know people get choked out and that's the whole point. And, and that, that I don't mean that and, and critically to people or anything like that, but if they're not into that and then, and, and they're not ready for that or things mm-hmm. like that, you know, that they won't be back and, and they won't participate and that's okay. Um, you know, I lose, uh, you know, I gain thousands of followers a month, but I lose thousands of followers a month, but my net is always positive And, and I, and that's, that's the great thing. So it's, I, I, I just, yeah, Highlander was beautiful, and and um, I I do hope that continues. Kalispell, I'm I'm looking forward to. I've committed to that, and I've also um, I am partnering, you know, with them now a little, mm-hmm. little bit to do to be more active and uh, to be a part of that. So I'm excited about that, and excited about uh, the possibilities of next year, and even maybe some things expanded you know, out of the country, I, I'm lucky, you know, with, and, and very fortunate and very grateful to be part of uh, the community I am that it's, 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 there's, it's worldwide. I mean, there's a lot of activity for me that, that is, uh, that I'm so grateful for. And uh, for this company to come along, um, it, it's been great. And, and, and meeting you and, and, and Brooke that you brought, you know, um, and everybody else there, and it was, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I lose words, but I, it's, it's only because I, I'm just such an, I just start thinking, and, and everything's going through my head about all the things that that went on and the daily things that you talked about, and it's, it's, it is incredible. People are incredible. And um, how people help each other, and we need each other, and we do need these connections, and 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 to to be better for ourselves. <laughs> and um, so, anyways, but I mean that that's that's just great. I mean, it's just great about your story. Uh, it's it's great about you know where where you're moving to and what's important to you, and and um, you know I I. I just, I hope that that's something that you never lose the passion for the outdoors again, you know, uh, is it heals my mind, body, and soul. Let's say, you know, the outdoors hiking here, all that saved my life. Mm-hmm. It's all, uh, you know, it's, it's so important that we have uh, people to, to push that, to get people outside. And, and I'll just, just say a couple more things on that. It's, it's, the outdoors and, 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 and if people look at any mental health professional, even even 
uh, uh, just doctors or life coaches or things like that, they, they are always, always top three treatment plan, top three items on that treatment plan. One, two, or three, somewhere in there is going to be go the frick outside, go mm -hmm. walk, go, go do anything, connect with nature, breathe fresh air, you know, uh, you know, give yourself an opportunity to, to be healthier. And that's where it's at is, is being outdoors. So again, that's just, again, trying to, trying to hammer that, that yes. home. but I want to thank you so much for being on here. Um, you know, being the first guest, I think this is going to be a, a amazing, um, uh, you know, moving, moving that needle for so many people. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, um, I only am on Instagram really, but you can find my website there too. So moving mountains, Meg, um, I'll be sharing more about the 2024 adventures that you can join me in on as well as some Highlanders here to close the year too. There are still three more events in which, um, I'll be going to Montana for sure. And then plan to go to several next year in 2024 as well, but check my page out. Yep. At moving mountains, Meg. Awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. 